All right, you guys, today we're out how you can import your image in Adobe Dimensions and then how you can add glass objects on it, which is a really popular thing to do. But if you don't have the budget for expensive 3D softwares, like how I did it here in Cinema 4D. By the way, you can check the tutorial on this on my Patreon page. You can click the link in the description. But in this situation, we're just going to resume to something simple and effective. All right, so step one, I'm going to create a new composition in dimensions and I'm going to go with this image as a background. But first, what we're going to need to do is select the plane. I'm going to press and hold shift, select this red dot here and just rotate it 90 degree angles. Bring it up, press and hold the right mouse and this way you can reposition the camera angle. And let's go to the right menu here at the actions and select the cube. Convert to standard model, click on it, and it's going to replace it with a new button, place graphic on model, click on it. And here we got the graphics, select it, click on open, and it's going to position it like this. As you can see, we got these little squares, just drag it, also press shift so it won't stretch it. Now I'm going to go to the left menu and select the torus, bring it up, scale it down from these little squares, bring it down, press and hold shift, scale it. I'm going to position it correctly and we're going to need to adjust the torus. And as you can see at the right menu, we got the adjustments of the torus and I'm going to increase the pipe radius a little bit more. So it's going to get thicker, but I'm going to need to scale it down ring radius. There you go. And this way you can adjust accordingly. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is position this correctly from the front. So what we're going to do is go to the camera here and here you can see the rotation angles. So we're going to decrease these to zero every each. And now you can see it's perfectly from the front and here we get the position. You can, you know, just put it on left or right. I just going to center it a little bit better before applying the glass and I'm going to zoom in with the Z. Good. Let's select the torus. I'm going to collapse the models here. And as you can see, we got the very first material. This is the glass. Just drag it on the torus. Right now, you can't see anything incredible. All you need to do is go up here at the right corner and activate the ray tracing. So now you can see how it's going to look in real life. Now I'm going to need to customize this glass. So I'm going to go here where the torus is and double click on the thumbnail. And this is going to show up the material. Let's scroll down here. We got the translucent options. Open it up and here we got the index of refraction and you can customize it, increase it or decrease it. And basically this is going to customize this distortion. And here you can test out which magnification you like most. You also can change up the colors of this glass. Just double click on the torus here, thumbnail, and you can change here the base color with something different. I also going to need to resize this artboard. So the composition is going to fit perfectly. I'm going to go and click here at the artboard size number. And now here on the right, you can customize it and I'm going to decrease the height. Now I'm going to go and render this. Let's click on the render here. You can go and change the quality. I got to go with high, slow. You can put it on PSD. I got to go with PNG or both. And here set the location. Click on render. And by the way, this is the final render. It looks gorgeous. And this was it. Thanks for watching.